Okay, quick update on the eggs before we get started with today's lesson. So if you look inside, you can see crystals have definitely formed. The blue one had a lot of crystals. Now, full disclosure, it's not too warm in my house, so it was taking a really long time for the water to evaporate. So I went ahead and poured it out. If you're more patient than me, and you let the water evaporate all the way, then more of the dye will be left behind and the crystals will be a lot darker in color. What I am gonna do though, is break them apart for you guys and see if we can get a little better view of those crystals. All right, so what you can see, see it a little better there, you can see the shiny crystals inside. Let's take a look at that green one as well. All right, so that's what that one looks like. Again, if you're more patient and you wait, it will, uh, the colors will be a lot brighter than what I have. Okay, today's demonstration is one you've probably seen before. It's called a tornado in a tube or a water vortex. What you're going to need for it is two bottles. I'm using one liters, two liters will work as well, and I believe 20 ounce will work as well. Water. I've added a little bit of color to it so we can see it against my light wall in the background. And a connector. Now, since I teach science, I already have the actual connector that they make, but you can make one of these yourself by using a washer that's the same diameter as the top of your uh, water bottle and then duct tape. So what you would do is put the two together with the washer in between and duct tape the, the connection together. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is fill one of the water bottles about two thirds of the way full with water. Now I connect the two. Okay. Flip it over. Wait a minute, the water's not going down. Well, we've got a bit of surface tension going on again. The water wants to head down, gravity wants to pull it down, and the air is less dense than the water, it wants to go up but that surface tension of the water is making things tough. So what I do is give it a little spin. That created a little break and the water will now fall down while the air goes up. So I'm gonna do that again as soon as it's done, but this time I'm gonna zoom in on the upper water bottle so that you can see what's going on. Here we go. Again, a couple air bubbles get through, that, but not really much. But what happens when I give it a little spin? You can see that water vortex happening. The air is coming up through the center and the water is being pushed and falling down the sides. All right, we're gonna try one more thing. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of lamp oil. So, let me bring this up here. You can see there's that little bit of clear lamp oil on top. We're gonna see what happens when I do the exact same thing with that little bit of lamp oil in there as well. Okay, we've got it flipped up and let's give it a spin.
we're getting a little more of a bubbling idea. So I'm going to zoom in on the top water bottle again. And let's see what happens. Okay, so again, I'll flip it over. Give it a twist. Well, we still see a vortex, but it's a little bit more, uh, it's not quite as clear. That's because in between the water and the air is that lamp oil. You also see that you're getting more of a bubbling that we didn't get in the last one without the lamp oil. It's because that lamp oil is more viscous. It's thicker than our water. So that air is trying to go through the center like it was with the water. But that lamp oil, it's slower moving. It doesn't really want to get out of the way the way the water did. It does kind of resist that movement a little bit. So you get a little more bubbling because that air is actually having to bubble its way through the oil rather than just make a, an opening and a hole like it did with the water. Okay, so that's a tornado in a tube. Um, personally, I like the one without the lamp oil better. I think it's a little more fun to watch, but it's kind of neat also to see how different liquids react to the same environment. That's it for today. See you next week.